I I'm slightly sick, but we doing this review shit. Let's see. What was this this was supposed to be a first attempt, but honestly, I was some fucking bus ass. That's a lot of mistakes out here, guys. It's a lot of mistakes, but it's okay. Cause in the end, the end, that's why we're actually here. That's why we're here in the first place. <clears throat> Ooh. Now, flashback to when I used to do these every week. What was the first thing I always said to look out for at the start of every match against your opponent? See what they do around start. I'm going to bet you $5. Bits is going to do something aggressive every single round start because he doesn't know how to block. Look at that. Oh, my God. First of all. No, 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 I'll wait, I'll wait. I'll adapt and see what happens later. Let's adapt and see and just see what happens later. No confirm off of that? No confirm off of the super dash? I mean, it's probably the easiest OS in this entire game. If you super dash, just hit LL. If it's blocked, it doesn't come off. If it hits, it comes out. Easy, easy OS. And this, that was a really shitty mix up. I wouldn't, I especially wouldn't do that against oh, someone like right. Gameless who will super dash through your mix ups. And especially, <laughs> especially since you only do the um, 2S backdash S. I don't even really know why you would do a backdash S, to be honest. Whoa. <clears throat> Pause. Pause. I know. I know. I know you did not just reflect. After EX legs. Oh, I did it too early. Okay, that's not optimized. You know, whatever. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Get you, boom, pressure. He backdashes. Okay, that's fine. But what you doing this for, bro? You plus two. What you reflecting for? There's no reason to actually reflect. The only time you should reflect when you're plus is if Aimless has a DP or is or if he has three bars. He doesn't have a DP except for air DP with Yamcha, and he doesn't have three bars. So why? So why are you fucking? Why are you just gonna sit there and like goddamn reflect? Like yeah, he backed that. You can chase him down with the JM like always, or you can just fall down with the light and play it safe. Cause you can saw, he 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 whiffed his two M and five M whiffed. That's a free punish for you. This could have been a free punish right there. Even since you match not reflect, it doesn't matter anyway. We're still okay. We're still okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's re it's recognizing your strengths with the character. No dash jump? No dash jump? I... <laughs> Bitch, we're gonna have to work on your defense a little bit. Just a little bit. By a little bit, I mean a lot of it. That was some sus. Okay, I don't agree with spending all of your meter right here. You didn't have to spend every single one of your bars. Should've just done level one, level three, or just level three. Because you know it's gonna wake up Spark. So one, if you wanted to spin off bars, then at least bait, bait the spark, because you know he's going to do it. I knew he was, he was going to do it. But always leave that extra bar for yourself. Like, if it's not going to kill, just leave the extra bar for yourself. Unless they have no spark and they're on their last character, so they can't swap. That's, that is unfortunate. <laughs> That's what you get from mashing, bro. That's what you get. It's really unfortunate. unfortunate. That's what you get from mashing. That was a good read. Even if it wasn't a read, that was that was a bold guess. Because Amos does jump forward with Yamcha a lot. It's okay, mechanical error, mechanical error. What the fuck? Hold up, bits. My guy. You're killing me, bro. You're killing me, bro. Yeah, so raw tag. He's down here. You didn't have the EX ball, Aimless, to get out of the situation. You literally just couldn't any other ball or just medium and whatever. Because he was he's he's down here. Can't really do it. Right. The well, the me just doing a regular medium JM would have been a risk because he could have super dashed over reaction to punish. But you light ball or medium ball could have got y'all just fine. You did not have to have to spin the bar to get out. Then even more over. What the fuck was this? My guy, he's all the way over here. He's damn near three-quarter screen away. What the fuck you EX balling for? 
what's the point of this? That's just wasting meter. My man could've just dashed up to H and punish your ass. What the fuck was that shit? Your meter management is usually OD, but now it's just look is looking kind of sus. Chucking out EX balls at the goddamn candy. Going just constantly spamming EX. I'm gonna get on the EX le legs later. That's okay. We're, we're gonna move on the EX legs later. Side though, side though. Now this was almost a cutback. So this is the root. Five M two M should have worked. Five M two M two H. Don't forget that since his since his five M reaches much 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 further than his two M. So we're, we're witnessing right now, and we're going to witness in the later sets when we see this again. Bits has an issue with always holding forward. Note, he has a three character lead, a very healthy lead to his team goal and was at least 50% health. Had a bar lead, character lead, man, all he, he could have, he literally could have wasted this game for 150 seconds if he really, really wanted to. But no, he just had to press forward, trying to go aggressive. You don't have to rush to end, to end the game. It's like, what the fuck was that for, bro? What, what, what was that? Like, you just gonna waste your assist like that, bro? Just. Just jump back and wait. Aimless is literally forced to go. If Aimless wants any hope of winning this game, he has to move forward. He's the one who has to move forward. He has to come to you. You don't. You should not be going to him by any means necessary. Uh, that's literally just asking yourself to get killed because you're more likely. When you're, when you're, whenever you're on the offense and you're desperate to get a hit in, like the situation that Aimless is forced in right now, you're going to make more mistakes because you have to take more risks because you have no assist to back you up. Yeah, you do stupid shit like JS in front of his fucking face. Without covered by an assist, you should fuck you. If you come to Super Dash or Vanish, I would have felt a little bit better about it. Now watch what you're going for. Just stay back, stay back. And this, what what you JSing for? What you JSing for? He's right there. I'm making Super Dash just blow your ass up. This is the. So what mainly? See, this should have been aimless game. With all these fuck ups I'm seeing, this should have been aimless's game. But he, but it was got EX moves. Like I'm not gonna say it was the GT Goku thing, cause a, a fair amount of characters can can actually do this. It's just having a fast fast startup EX move. Like Ting Gohan can do it, Kid Buu can do it, GT Goku can do it, Bardock can do it, Cell can probably do it as well. A lot of characters can fucking can fucking do this shit. You going? To, why, why would you two H that though? That's the real question. That was a huge risk in 2H. It's, it's like you could have started start out your pressure, but then you intentionally gave it up with the 2H because it's not fast enough to punish that. Yeah, so like I said, you just got e EX boots. You can't you can't do much about that. It's just make a read read that it's coming and just 2H right away. Let's get so take everything that, that just happened. Both of you, take everything that just happened in mind. Doesn't matter if you win or win or lost. So what did Bits do last time? He did a 2S and a Team Gohan assist for whatever reason. Let's see. Let's see what he does now. Any bets? He's going to do something aggressive. Oh, wow. Wow. Bits, you know you can just block around start, right? You know you can just jump back and be fine. You can backdash and be fine. If only Amos was better. Amos can, can convert off of hard things but he can't convert off of easy things it's, it's, it's strange it's really strange oh my goodness okay nice okay max damage max damage use both assist okay take note I want you to I was super pissed when I saw this happen I was actually upset because you see me play bits you seen everyone else play bits when they snap him in he jumps and if he doesn't get hit, what does he do? He will do the same thing over and over again. And Aimless let it rock. Like three or four times in a row. Okay, that was the first time. He jumped and he super dashed. Let's see what happens next time. Okay, he's going to snap in. Okay. You saw what he did last time, right? Let's see what it does. Wow. Wow. No punish? No punish on that? Okay, drop the combos. Alright, it's whatever, whatever. 
Don't know why you jazzed up H, but okay, <laughs> okay. That was that was that shouldn't have been a scramble, but it was a scramble. I honestly, God, don't think that should have been as scrambly as it was. Two H right there. You can two H that. Okay, so for those, oh my gosh, what the fuck? Let's press my cursor. For those of you who want to know. Team Gohan can make his auto combo plus on block. Plus one. So in, in situations that you just saw that you just saw bits fall in, where the third hit of the auto combo was blocked in the air. First of all, that's just funny shit. You you, you were kinda of JS in, in, in JS recovery. That wasn't bullshit. You were you were fucking matching shit. So right here. Originally, Team Gohan is minus. You can land and two waste this shit or just do a full on punish. What Bits can do to make this he can make this plus one by just doing lightning legs. Not medium, because medium would it's not enough, it's not enough startup. Just do light legs, and by the time you land, you're plus on block. So keep that in mind. And also keep in mind, so the last time he held EX EX legs pressure, he backdashed. And he did it again this time. So what, so what does that tell you? He backdashed doing. What did that tell you? Forward dash JM. Chase his ass down. Don't let this motherfucker get away. Aimless thinks he has the solution to everything Team Gohan does, but he doesn't. I'm gonna explain why later. Team Gohan's pressure is a lot harder to get out of than you initially think. Ooh. Okay, wake up spark. No beta, wake up spark. Oh, that hit him? Okay. No, no hit confirmed though. That should be dead. Yeah, that's dead. I, I'm going easy on the Team Gohan stuff for now. <clears throat> Cause I know he, he is a hard character to pick up and I know you're not completely comfortable with him. So I'm not going to roast your ass too much on the Team Gohan faults. I'm going to try not. I'm going to try not to at least. Ooh. Okay, now Aimless has a big lead. Let's see. Now let's see what he does. Drop combos. Okay. Aimless is starting to make the same, the same, the same mistake. But he's not as reckless as you are. He's staying back. When it, if he sees an opportunity to go for it, he goes for it. You're mindlessly walking for it. That's why you got clipped by GT Goku since last three times in neutral. <laughs> We're gonna toss him back in the corner. Should be Super Saiyan 4. No Super Saiyan 4? I guess okay, because Amy's gonna block his cabeza. Yeah, uh, uh, there are certain situations where where you know you're going to get reset. Even So even if Bits didn't plan that reset, which I can almost guarantee you he didn't. Just realize what he started the combo. He started the combo with with the um, Rasengan. So the Rasengan consumes the sliding the sliding knockdown. Correct the mundo, correct the mundo. So once he vanished, he didn't drag her. So I mean, there's no sliding knockdown to be had in this combo whatsoever. O only option is soft knockdown or hard knockdown. Once you didn't see the super flash, you're like fuck, this is a reset. Either you up tech block or you just get ready for whatever. Whatever soft knockdown okey shit that you normally do. Just keep that shit in mind. Guard camps. Solo guard camps. Truly a marvelous invention. Truly a marvelous invention. Alright, so this is 1-1, one, one, I believe. This is 1-1. One, one. Now, now, next round start. I want to say, take note of what happened. Game one, Bits did, I think it was JS. It was a JS or 2S. I don't fucking know Kipu shit. But he did a Key Blast and a Tingo Han assist. Why? I don't fucking know. Second game, he did the same thing with GT Goku assist. Why? I still don't fucking know. Let's see what he does this time. Will he play defensive? Okay. Okay. We're getting better. We're, we're, see, there, we're getting better. He didn't do something stupidly aggressive. He just super jumped forward. There you go. Didn't call an assist. Let, let Aimless waste, waste his assist first. Now you got to capitalize on that. You can rush for So you can play the rushdown style. You don't have to do it so mindlessly. Just because you're playing Kid Boo doesn't mean you can just press buttons. I know you like to play characters who allow you to do such things. But this is still a fighting game. You can't just run up and press buttons. That's not how the game works. That's not how any fighting game works. Ooh. 
Good blocks. Okay. No conversion. No conversion. All right, now Team Gohan's out here. I'm gonna get a little. We're gonna, we're gonna get a little. Get a little roasted. No two H. It's okay. Nice push. Micro dash to chase him down just a little bit. Could have done a double bomb right there. Woo! Nice run out. Nice run out. Amos took a big ass risk too, because if he got clipped by anything, he was gonna die. There you go. I don't agree with that JS though. But it's whatever. Woo! Okay. I wanna point out that's the only thing Bits does now. I blocked every because he, he used to he used to dash up at two M and I blocked it or rather reflected an escape. Then he just started doing JHs. I haven't seen him do two M since. Okay, we'll get to why why that combo mislaid, because I think you with the fair amount of combos like that. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's almost like a general rule. Whenever you're playing GT Goku, whenever you're playing against a G a GT Goku, let me clarify. Know where his assist covers. Okay, that's that's why though you got you gotta make sure where you are. In, on the uh, screen when you do his minion legs on the, in the corner. If you're too far away, you either have to do 5M or, or the um, Tolarian kick. Just keep that in mind. So note, keep in mind on what's happening right here. You're both full screen, all right? This is pretty much, I'm gonna consider this full screen for now. You know, you play GT Goku, you know which angle, which angle it covers. So you, if you know it's available, you can see it's available right here. Why would you jump right here? Or if any, you want to jump right there, that's on you. But you want to press a button while you're in this area too? Bro, that's just fucking suicide. Whenever you're full screen, just stay just stay on the, on the ground. Just stay right here because if he tries to run up or super dash or jump over the beam, you can two-way stat, reflect, or do whatever defensive maneuver to get, to get you out. But the moment you jump, you're taking 30 flame, frames of blocks and you're brought right back to the ground where you got put into a mix by one of the best mixed characters in the entire fucking game. All right, so do make sure where you are on on, on the screen because jumping right here with G two Goku says available is just a terrible idea. It's not it's not optimized. If you want to jump, then you're gonna have to take a bigger risk and move forward. Just move slightly forward and super jump, just so you can float right here instead of having to be back here. The geometry, we are doing geometry in this fucking game. Know your angles. Okay, good mix. No co no conversion, black ass conversion. So these these are two habits that, that I want to talk about. That I've seen no one properly punish yet. Whenever Inless sparks, what does he do? He always does the same thing. He always does his beam. He always, he always whatever beam thing he has, he does. As you can clearly see he sparks with Kid Buu, then, then, then Kame. He always Kame's vanish, back dash, assist, dash forward. He does that nine, like nine out of ten times whenever, whenever, whenever he sparks. He doesn't do the beam, but he'll still do whatever he can. And he'll super dash, vanish, back dash, back dash, Yamcha assist, or Bardock assist back then when he had Bardock. And Bist does something even worse. Bist does probably the worst thing you could possibly do. My man Sparks dash up JS. It's all right. We get we get we get the more more on that later. The fuck was that super jump? The fuck was that super jump though? It's all right. You may you managed to land the excess. You managed to get a proper a proper conversion. Max Dimaggio. I don't know what the fuck it. Aimless was running for. Now Aimless is the one who's fucking running for like a goddamn madman. <laughs> what you press the buttons for? Yeah, shake your head, shake your head, put your head down. I'm gonna assume that was a missed input. That was supposed to be something else. Oh, staggers, staggers, staggers. Where's the level three bits? There it is. There it is. That's bits' is only defense against staggers. It's the, it's the level three. He will never reflect. He will go for something a lot worse instead. So always, always keep that in mind. He, he'll only do it if, if you have less than one character, is what I've noticed. 
because he's he, he'll never do it if you have if you have three characters. And, and I've tried. I've I've fucking tried to make him. I've tried to force him to do it, but he just well he just won't do it. Surprisingly enough. Like, keep in mind, the man refuses to block staggers or reflect or super jump out of staggers. So it's to fuck it goes goes for the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, keep the shit in mind of what you see. That's the main thing. That's why I started doing the videos, like these videos in the first place. Because it's one thing to download someone. It's one thing to just play someone and encounter them. But it's another thing to actually understand how they play and adapt accordingly and adapt quickly. Like, you know what he does every single time, so why aren't you actively trying to counter it? You gotta keep these things in mind. You can't just see something and immediately put it away. You gotta see it, store it, remember it, so the next time the situation comes up, you say, oh shit, he did this, so I can do that. If you don't know what to do, go lab or ask someone. So he backdash again! That's the third time in a row he's backdash. Why haven't you chased him down yet? Chase his, ch chase his punk ass down, bro. D dash JM. Or be a man. It's just super dash after. I, mean, I, don't, I don't give a fuck. Do, do something. Even if it's the wrong maneuver, just do something that shows that you understand what, what he's doing. Can you have a plan to counter it. Just do something. You can vanish for all I care. Nice DP. No, no, uh, no, no empty shit, though. First, now, what you press the buttons for, though? Okay, you, you should not advance. You clearly could just could just level three. I, under, I understand that the auto combo is busted, but don't throw it out there like that. <laughs> because still, if it whiffs, you're still fucked. You're still fucked. Okay. Will this do anything? Yes. Why? 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 Okay. So let's uh let's see. Let's let's do a quick recap of what of what uh, we just we just witnessed. So round start immediate anti air grab Tingo Han assist. Now, you already have two assists that cover this area of the screen. So there's real no real reason to do the grab in the first place. And on top of that, when, and I mean when, I've never, ever, ever seen Aimless do anything aggressive round start. Official round start. Not post-character death. I'm talking official game one round start. He never does anything aggressive. You can be aggressive. That's fine. But using key blast covered by an assist, that's that's that's, that's kind of it. Especially DP assist, that's kind of that's that's suspect. But the AA grab of all things to use when he's never jumped forward a day in his life round start, bro, bro, that's that's just nothing. Of course, there's nothing inherently wrong because he didn't, you didn't like get hit or anything. You didn't get countered. It just reset to neutral. But if anything, what that tells me and what that can tell Aimless if he's looking for it, that's telling everyone that he doesn't pay attention to what happens at round start. I've never jumped forward in my life, so for some reason, he's going to anti air grab at round start for some fucking reason. That means this man's not paying attention. I can run whatever mix ups I want because he doesn't know how to, how to deal with them because he's not paying attention to what's happening. He's just doing shit just to do shit. Okay, okay, once again, be careful jumping full screen with G2 Goku assist available. Now it's not available. Oh, good blocks, good blocks. Nice. We're not a VX legs right there, but it's okay. You actually, you actually could have done bomb moves right there. Nice tag, nice tag. For someone so aggressive, you fly finally play patient. I don't agree with that level one though. Okay, you you wanted to do some sort of reset. I respect it. 
Looks like Amos tried to try to to two H. Didn't quite work out too well. Yeah, that's that's a heavy commitment type thing. Cause I can tell Amos tried to two H on reaction. Trying to blow shit. Amos thinks he can blow up a lot of things with two H. That's not exactly possible. Especially in that type of situation. You have to have to have a very quick reaction and just make it a straight out read. Just a straight out read. In some cases, I've actually seen that shit like not jail, but you can't you straight up just can't just can't even two H it. Let's try and get to that later. See? Okay, so so Okay, okay. This actually goes back towards what I was talking about earlier. Remember what I said? Official round start, Amos never does anything aggressive. After a character death, he'll start do he'll he'll, he'll do shit. Like with Yamcha, he'll usually jump for a medium. Or back when he played Super Saiyan Goku, he always did jump for a medium, or it's the air dash medium. Now it's now it's gonna do e EX Fist. Why you decide to do EX Larry, that's that's fucking beyond me, because you have the goddamn disadvantage right here. My man Larry could have just blocked or reflected call Yamcha, just have you sit there be minus five and then punish you. Cause you can't do anything afterwards. Okay, challenge. You don't need to EX legs every goddamn time. I don't know why you're using EX legs. So so mainly like, EX legs is good, you're plus two on block. But just use medium legs. <laughs> like honest to god, just do just do the medium legs. Like the the, sh the shit's mad good. <laughs> and I heard just so oh it has two gaps here. Well so so fucking what? <laughs> Because between the heavy, the last of the auto combo, and the, the only thing he can do is reflect. And that's so easily baitable, it's fucking hilarious. The only time you ever see me, honestly, God, using assist with medium legs is once it actually hits. Actually, you're already blocking. I never ever call it to cover unless I'm planning to do a fuzzy. Ever. There's no reason. <laughs> there's a, oh, there's, you know, two gaps. I'm just not going to use it. That's fucking stupid. That is not optimized. You're, you're not using one of the character's best toolkits. Arguably his best move. I don't know. What the fuck you tried to do there? Hold on, hold on. I'm curious now. You've piqued my interest on why you got hit right there. I want to see if I saw if I saw the air dash motion. No, you just didn't do anything. You just didn't do anything when you're plus on block. Bruh. Bruh, you deserve this. All right, whatever. We're gonna move on. Now, this was another thing that that I want to, to, to talk about. In this situation, you know damn well you're not killing. You're not, you see these two supers, you are not killing any. This whole fucking team, you're not killing anyone, anyone with a three man. Happy birthday, especially without Spike. You're not killing a goddamn soul. So what would you do right here? You should tag, not, not tag snap. Cause you know damn well this this team going is not gonna fucking die. Look at all that blue health you could have you could have fucking snapped in, bro. You could have snapped in all that shit. Go snap the all that shit in. Ignore what just happened because Biz can doesn't want to fucking block. That's that's on him. But it would have been way more worth it to to snap in right there. Because you know damn well you're not gonna kill it. This team ain't killing nobody at a happy birthday. Especially with all three members alive. If at least Kimpo or Yamcha was dead, then at least you got Super Saiyan 3. At least you got Super Saiyan 3. Okay. What is this? Take 4? Take 4 now? Let's see. Okay. There we go. We're getting better. We're getting better. I like it. I'm, I, I am agreeing with what I am seeing. He's not taking stupidly big, big risk anymore. Scramble situations. Remember, be aware of, of Kid, well, not Kid Buu. Be aware of GT Goku assist. You can't be pressing shit full screen. Just because you're full screen, you're playing Kid Buu doesn't mean you can just press shit. Be careful of, what, of what's happening. And yeah, be careful of what's happening. Be careful of what the opponent has. Like you may not have been pressing a button as the assist came out. But you were in the, the recovery of a button that you pressed earlier that you should not have pressed in the first place. Oh, what you jumping for? What you using EX legs for? What is this foolishness? The fuck was that? He dropped in combos. What you holding forward for? 
was that was was that like part of like those those memes walking back and forth is this neutral because that's pretty much that's that's pretty much what what happened you were, you were you were doing well no you were sitting there chilling full screen throwing out the best key blast in the game by the way fastest traveling well not the best key blast but the fastest traveling key blast in the entire game boom got hit okay do like a little micro walk to get to build the bar you, you actually could just jumped forward to get the bar in anyway but then you dash forward Por que, por que dash forward, bro? I mean, still got a key blast. You still got a beam. You could level three your ass if you really wanted to. If you got close enough. Get ready for a reset. Okay. There you go. Don't know what that was. See? Okay. See? That is not the wave. Don't ever, 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 ever do that. That's intentionally making you putting yourself in a shitty situation. It's one of those things where like where like where you like you two H and you vanish right away to get out of like pressure like like some random shit. It's like Yeah, sure. You you um you just spend the two H to get out of pressure, you vanish to make yourself safe, but now you put yourself in a it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if you're a plus. Vanish has so many ways to get out of his pressure is fucking hilarious. You put yourself in a rock, paper, scissors situation willingly when you could have just blocked. In your friends, you had the hit. You could have just, you, honestly, I would, you could have just ran a fucking auto combo with the guy. Because he would have blocked it. He, what's what's, he, what's, what's he was going to do if I ain't going to do shit? You dash up JS? Then empty vanish? Bro. Bro. That's just, because that's just asking to get yourself killed. Because you're putting yourself in a... In a shitty situation where you don't have to be in this very shitty situation. Don't be so eager to get out the corner. So, <laughs> okay, that was that was pretty funny. Down, down. That was that was okay. That wasn't Team Gohan. That was literally just down tech buttons. That was honest to god, just down tech buttons. Cause that could have happened with any character. I could have done with Goku Blue if I fucking wanted to. But hey, y'all gotta be. You don't always have to be on offense. I guess it's one of the overarching themes I'm seeing. But that with everyone's playstyle. It's just more apparent with bits, because that's just how he chooses to play the game, which is fine. You can play the game that way. I'm not gonna tell you to not play the game that way. But what I will tell you is to be careful with how you do it. Because what happened previously, I don't right now you're just getting mixed. Ain't, ain't, ain't much you can talk about while you're getting fucking your, your soul mixed. But, <laughs> that was pretty fucking funny. Oh, that was pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. But we got hit earlier, because Amos dropped, um, um, he dropped his combo, and you full attacked. We were very, very low to the ground, so so you got hit. He just dad jumps and he, and he hit you. Because, yeah, you, you forward attacked, I think, forward dash. You're just back into a forward dash. Then dropping combos out here. You literally could have just down tech buttons. You could just down tech blocked. Down tech super jump forward. Up tech super jump. Because you can still. Uh, not super jump. Uh, up tech jump in the air, jump forward. Do any special move to get to get you out of there. If you have like advantage if you really wanted to. Boop, boop. Yeah, that's okay. We'll work. I was, I, I was noticing that, that Team Gohan bullshit. I was. I'll teach you and Miz it later. Cause y'all need y'all need Jesus with that shit. It's like it's like you give someone Excalibur and they use it to open up letters. It's like, yeah, it can open up letters. Or you can use it to kill a fucking dragon. You know, that's on you. Twitch? There you go. One bad beam is all it takes. Don't forget. That's probably that's probably my my most useful quote. I still have, you know, when it down, scrub it out, you know, got, got all that meme shit. But one of my, like, legit quotes is, one bad beam is all it takes. Don't throw a beam when you're that close in neutral. Especially one that you can't control where it goes. You can only, like, GTs can only go in one direction. That's, like, ankle down. So, okay. Let's go. Two and round start. What the fuck? My man always jumps back. What you two women for? 
I, like I said, it's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. We're getting there. That's why we're here. That's why we are here. I'm a s okay, no, no, okay, okay. I realized what that was. Now, when I first saw that, I was like, what the fuck was that shit? But then, okay, I realized. Because Aimless has a habit of whenever he blocks the key blast, he always jumps after us. He always tries, tries to jump. So, bits you probably went for the big dick play, key blast, catch him jumping, EX, EX grab. Easy. But he chose to reflect instead. Like you're missing, mixing up your options is what is, is the way to go. Mixing up your, your defensive options is the way to go. Like sometimes he jumps, sometimes he'll reflect, sometimes he'll super dash. Keep keeps you guessing, keeps everyone guessing. And why aren't you looking doing that shit? Okay, not dead, not dead. But you will, but you will get a setup off of it. That was pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie though. Okay, are you gonna snap or just keep him in? No, what the fuck are you two in it for? Solo Bombu? Nah, no Solo Bombu. Yeah, at least go to Super right there. You could have uh, you could have done EX legs into the Lariat kick. We got we gotta teach you your solo options for a bomb loot. If you can't do the, the solo bomb loot, we gotta we gotta give you give you your other options. That was interesting. That was interesting. Oh look, again. But you did it way too late. Why not just <laughs> bruh, just backdash it 2H when you see the super dash, because he does it every time. Or just don't even backdash, just fucking sit there. Yeah, that e that EX grab was a fucking that was a gamble and a half. But it's alright. Sometimes you do have to make those like big gam gamble plays. It's alright. I'm not gonna knock you for making big dick gamble plays. As long as you do them with like a thought. That's what you that's what you, what you're going forward for. That's what you're going forward for, bro. Relax, cause now look what's happening. Look what's happening. You got hit with the optimal shit. Yeah, yeah, look at your health bar, bro. Look at your health bar, bro. <laughs> I fucking hate that character. I'm not gonna knock knock you for for trying to to him to him to him. But that fucking character's auto combo. And I catch one of that uh about around start. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rewind real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna show right there. So a little bit more, a little bit. Yeah, let's go like right there. There we go. Okay. Yeah, what will Bits do? He tuned round start. Okay, there you go. Now he's going back to play like a sane person. No original aimless though. It sucks. Yeah, so you know he does that every time, right? He he does that pretty much any position on on, on the screen too. Aimless will aimless will always do light ball in the back dash in the back dash to him. Oh, you can back dash his back dash and key blast him. Walk forward? I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a discount run out. Ooh. So we got to work on that meaty. I know it's hard. Kipu's like just overall block chains and shit are hard. Oh, damn. 
overall black shit just shit are hard on small on small characters. But that doesn't mean you can't be practicing the shit to get the shit fresh. You know, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to bump that shit up. Delay buttons if we got to. <laughs> 